completely. This is the one you're gonna break? Yeah, the iPhone. Can 11. I hold it? This beautiful iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> You're yes. gonna just brand shoot new. a ping pong ball, brand new iPhone. You're gonna shoot a ping pong ball at this? Do you yeah, know? well, I mean, it's a ping pong ball, so it shouldn't hurt it. Let's say a prayer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Give me a warning. <laughs> What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip. I'm here with Diana from the Physics Girl YouTube channel. It's me. And she is awesome. She does like a science explanation videos over on her channel and a lot of really interesting content. And she's over here at my house right now actually filming <laughs> a bunch of slow motion videos with Darren uh, back here and using our slow motion camera. So it's really cool to collaborate with her. We're gonna find out if an iPhone 11 Pro, this is a Pro, we got the old stove top. Oh, the, the, the three cameras. The three cameras the on the back. three eyes, yeah. We're gonna find out if a vacuum cannon tube can destroy an iPhone. Yeah, so we're gonna shoot a ping pong ball out of the vacuum cannon and see what a ping pong ball can do to an iPhone. So can you only shoot like a ping pong ball out of something like this? You or can, can you shoot, shoot anything. You can shoot whatever really kind of blocks the whole tube on the inside, but a ping pong okay. ball fits so it, really well. So it needs to be the right, it's gonna be the right size, size yeah. so that the air sucks out? Is that so the, the idea? So the air pushes the ping pong ball. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take these scissors here and puncture the side once we take all the air oh, out. Oh, that's why you're puncture wielding the scissors <laughs> at me. <laughs> that is why I'm I was waiting. like, why are you threatening me? You're going to poke your eye out. <laughs> that's why, I, hold on. Good to go. This is to puncture the side so that the air gets sucked in and then it's going to push the ping pong ball out the other side. So if you want to know the full science of how the vacuum tube works, check out her channel. There'll be a link in the description and an annotation at the end if you want to click on it. So, the fundamental principle of the vacuum mm -hmm. tube, we take this air compressor, right? This is the vacuum pump. So yeah. we pull the air out. Pulling all the air out, there's like a little, a little input here. So we're sucking the air. Either end is blocked by these sort of thin, this is called mylar, it's kind of just like tissue paper, but metal. Okay. Those are blocking the ends. And if you were to stick your finger in there. Right now you're good. But if you were to stick <laughs> your finger in there, it would get sucked in real fast. That's why I have the scissors to the side because I don't even want to get my hand over here. Okay. Keeping everything away from the sides of the cannon. So, so think of this like uh, the reverse of a spaceship with the air getting sucked into it. Yes. Basically. Yes. So we puncture the side and air goes foom. And then that shoots a ping pong ball, which is in here, yeah. mm -hmm. out the other side like a gun. Exactly. Oh yeah. my God. And then it shoots all the way out where there's no air anymore. So it has nothing really slowing it down all the oh. way out. And then it punctures the other side. It's going That's, so fast. Ping pong balls would normally be so slowed by the air. Exactly. There's a vacuum. There's oh. a vacuum. There's, there's, no there's nothing, nothing to block the ping So if you want to know the full science, go check it out. <laughs> That was just like a teaser of the science. We're gonna shoot the can first to show you what it can do. Then we're gonna shoot an iPhone. We'll see, we might upgrade the can into a bigger size. This if, might not be enough for if it doesn't, your if, purposes. Yeah, if it doesn't destroy <laughs> the iPhone, we will, we'll upgrade the cannon. I'm really excited. I'm excited too. Let's do this, let's, let's blow up the it. cannon. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, so we're sucking the air out now. We're sucking the air out. We wait till we get like a good vacuum inside, so we wait until we get enough of the air sucked how, out. How do you know when it's a good vacuum? This starts to change sound, like that. Ah, yeah. it's no longer sucking air. It's not able to suck as much air because there's not as much inside. So it's okay. just sucking, but it's not getting anything any, anymore. You ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. okay. Is, there, is it loud? It's loud. It's not too loud. I'm not wearing any. Oh, it's, 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 just it's, it's not really loud. It's like, it's, like between, it's like a firework lab. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one. One. Ooh. 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 Wow, that was very loud. Whoa. That's what Zeus was barking can about inside. <laughs> Where did the can go? It it's here. It's up there. I literally don't see it anymore. It's, it's past the garden. Oh my god. Oh yes. We got uh, the ping pong ball embedded into the can. <laughs> That's that's fantastic. So that, I, you know, I think this will, might be enough to destroy the iPhone. You think so? That's a lot of force. That is a lot of force. This that is, is pretty, a lot of force. This is pretty thin metal, though. Oh man. I want to see if it can destroy the screen. Yeah. So that's amazing. That's a lot of damage for a ping pong ball. <laughs> but I want to see if it'll destroy an iPhone screen. I've also seen ones when they're longer, where they go all the way through the entire can. How much more force do you think you get out of a longer tube? 
I think you get a lot more because you get so much more acceleration, more time for it to catch speed. So if you had like a hundred foot tube, how much power are we talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the physicist is like, I need to pull out my notebook and do some calculations. <laughs> you can get yeah. above the speed of sound. You can... Really? Let me check that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound very confident, all right. All right, cool, so here's the slow motion. This is at 32,000 frames per second. Starting to move back, that energy's coming through. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it, just, it grabs it. Yeah. Oh. It just gave it that ping pong a hug. Yeah, hug, the whole huggle. That is awesome. Oh, there's oh. the piece of <laughs> <laughs> There goes the tissue. That wow. shock wave. Ooh, the can crumples yeah, though. Yeah, on the other side. All over on the sides and everything. How yeah. offensive could this weapon be? Not oh, very. This yeah, it would not be very you'd have efficient. To have a, it would have like that a backpack. so fast. It would be loud build up. You'd have that vacuum. Like, I, I feel like this cannon has a really high chance of just busting this iPhone completely. This is the one you're going to break? Yeah, the iPhone. Can I 11. hold it? This beautiful iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> You're yes. gonna just brand shoot new. a ping pong, but brand new iPhone. You're gonna shoot a ping pong ball at this? Do you yeah, know? well, I mean, it's a ping pong ball, so it shouldn't hurt it. Let's say a prayer. Whoops. Give me a warning. <laughs> this is why drop tests are important, right? Now yeah. you know. This video just about got twice You're as welcome. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, I guess prep the cannon for another shot okay. at the iPhone 11 Pro. Let's do it. All Oops. right. So we shoot the ping pong ball into the iPhone. Mm -hmm. First question, will the iPhone screen be destroyed? Your opinion, yes or no? You know, you have so much ex more experience with iPhone screens. I don't know how much it can withstand. Yes I'm or gonna... no? Ah, the scientist <laughs> would say, uh, yeah, yes. yes. I would say yes. Yeah. Okay, I think it probably will too. So we've got two yeses. Poll in the top left, what do you think is going to happen? And then also the follow-up question, mm -hmm. will the iPhone smack the wall? Will enough force be imparted to the iPhone to smack the wall? I'm gonna say no on that one. I think the iPhone's a little too heavy. Too heavy? What do you think? I think it'll smack the you wall. You think it's gonna hit the wall? Uh, this is a powerful cannon, all right? I believe in the cannon, all right? <laughs> the can went into the next yard. I think this is gonna go flying pretty far. We'll see. We'll see. I'm Let's excited. find out. We got the cannon ready. Let's go ahead and fire it off and see what happens. Three, two, one. Woo! It did not hit the wall. It almost did. Look at this ping pong ball. Absolutely decimated. <laughs> ping pong it ball. It looks kind of like an eggshell. I've never seen a ping pong ball look like an eggshell. It's been cracked. Flattened. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what happened to this iPhone. Done. Done. Done! Oh my god. That is a Whoa. lot more damage than I thought it that was going to be. That is destroyed. Oh my gosh. It's like a little island of not yeah. destroyedness. That is amazing. It looks like this is what happened. Yeah. It impacted and then curved forward and then it made a little mm -hmm. island of safety. So if you were pixels right there, you might have survived. But that phone is kaputz. That is an impressive amount of damage. Yeah. I, I must say I'm <laughs> proud of this ping pong ball. I'm pretty speechless. <laughs> <laughs> a a ping pong ball did that. I thought that maybe it would crack the screen. I did not think it would indent it like See, like a, a valley yeah. around an island. Boom! Oh, whoa! The screen just fades out as it goes up. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's so sick. It still has like a bar of like screen going down. The ping pong ball. The ping pong ball is Shredded. destroyed. Mm -hmm. Shredded. And then there's like shards of glass everywhere that's super <laughs> not dangerous or anything. <laughs> like never walk out on our driveway barefoot. Oh. What's really cool is like the impression on this side. It's like impacted inwards almost like a uh, one of those like toys that you yeah, reverse. Yeah, like a toy popper. Yeah. It's, so, it's so weird how it hits in the middle first but like it inverts the ping pong ball so that most of the force ends up in the outside. The outside like ring you're of talking it. About, yeah, yeah, the outside ring. And then there's not as much damage right in the center and then it's going through another drop test <laughs> bye bye iphone is this one of your your uh, more interesting iphone destructions uh yeah for sure i think this is a very interesting, interesting a unique test. unique form of damage yeah i've never seen a ping pong ball do this much damage to a phone before big shout out to Dana, physics girl youtube channel go check out her channel which video would you say is the number one my audience has got to check out oh i would say they should go check out i have one about antimatter that we recently put out antimatter, antimatter. it's like the opposite of matter it annihilates when it hits matter like what you can't get much better than that sounds very <laughs> intriguing <laughs> 
<laughs> I, yeah, I honestly don't know that much about Antimeter, so I might go check it out. You should check that one out I should, too. I should, yeah. I will. You like I physics. Will. So two giant thumbs up for science, three giant thumbs up for Diana and our collaboration, Puss Pound. <laughs> <laughs> A giant thumbs up for the ping pong ball, which won this uh, battle today. Yeah, that was awesome. I was really surprised there was that much damage, but I'm pretty proud Shocking of- Shocking amount of damage. I'm proud of the ping pong cannon today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more wacky tester abilities, hit that subscribe button. And again, go check out Diana's channel. Peace out.